Hi there Capricorn, I'm Ellie Rose with PsychicFuture.com and this is your horoscope from the 22nd to the 28th of October. So this week we've got quite a lot happening. We've got the sun is moving into Scorpio, so we're starting Scorpio season, and that is going to be conjunct Venus, which is still in retrograde. Then on the same day we have got full moon in Taurus, which is also going to be conjunct Uranus. So this is going to be quite a lot of perhaps hectic energy, it's going to be a little bit emotional, there's probably going to be some feelings that are purged, any like past hurts to do with relationships, anything to do with your self-worth, how you view yourself, you know, how much self-care you have in your life. Now all of these have been following on from my last few weeks videos where I've been talking quite in depth about all this Venus retrograde stuff to do with self-love. And in particular, this is now the kind of bubbling point for all of this. So this full moon with the, with the sun moving into Scorpio is going to bring this stuff up to the surface and kind of shine a light on it so that we can start to understand it now. So for you Capricorn, this is probably going to look like self-care, stuff to do with how well you treat yourself. So if you're the kind of person that, you know, is always very busy, got a lot on your plate, you're always doing stuff for your friends and family, you know, perhaps you're the kind of person that puts your needs last and, you know, just says, well, it's okay, like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll rest later when I sleep or, you know, I don't need to, you know, do, do these things for myself, then this is going to bring that stuff up for you now. And you might actually feel a little bit overwhelmed by it. Perhaps this might manifest in you know, having too many responsibilities for the week, feeling a little bit like, you know, oh my gosh, when am I going to get any time to myself? If that is the case, then this is all happening for a reason, and it's all to show you where you can improve a little bit, because full moons are always about releasing stuff, letting go anything that's not serving us. So if you have been very overwhelmed, not taking the self-care that you need, then this full moon is encouraging you to leave that kind of behaviour behind and to really now try and focus on what you need. So full moon is on Wednesday and Thursday. So if you can take some time midweek to, you know, treat yourself to something, do something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. It might even be that, you know, perhaps you've been wanting to tidy your kitchen, you know, for weeks and weeks and, and it's been driving you mad and you haven't been able to do it. That in itself can be like a self-care act because it's something that you really want to do. It doesn't have to be all about bubble baths and glasses of wine. It can literally just be like, you know, oh, I really wanted to, um, you know, fill in my diary for the week so that I feel prepared for next week like just anything that makes you feel like you have achieved what you wanted to achieve uh, things that you know perhaps little loose ends that you've been really wanting to tie up these can all be self-care acts as well because essentially what you're doing is you're like weeding out your schedule so that you can feel a little bit more in control of situations and this in turn will help you to feel a little bit more balanced and a little bit more relaxed about any of the emotions that come up during this full moon period. So I'm going to have a look at a tarot card for you, just for a little bit extra help. So what have we got for our cappies for this full moon? This one. Abundance, three of cups, of course. There we go, treat yourself. <laughs> so yeah, this card is basically about good food, wine, feeling good, self-indulgence, it's like probably one of the most self-indulgent cards in the pack, it's all about you, it's all about what do you need to fill up your cups, to, you know, make sure that your emotions are well fed, make sure that you're feeling good about yourself, you're feeling good about your life, you're feeling like, you know, everything is laid out as it is and you can continue on feeling a little bit more relaxed. So yeah, this is basically just echoing what I've just said, Take some time out for yourself. Make sure that, you know, all your ducks are in a row, whatever that means to you, like, you know, however you want to treat yourself, however you want to do your self-care, just make sure that you do do it, even if it's just an hour or something. It will really, really help this full moon. So, yeah, happy full moon, guys, and I hope to see you next week. Much love.